Welcome to Blender tutorial number two. Today we'll be learning about lighting and duplication. Okay, we're going to start off, click on add. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this. Click on add, mesh, cube, and this will get you to the cube. This should have got, been where you got to last time. You might have it scaled or rotated or moved. But if you press add, mesh, not mesh, um, uh, light, there you go, point, and then just move it somewhere. It should already be there, but if you've deleted it, this is how you get to it. So currently, if you press F12 or go to render and then render image, you'll just see nothing. But if you click on here, the light, and it'll start off like this. Click on the little light bulb. That could be a different color dependent on what your layout is. Turn the watt up. Mm, go about a thousand. A thousand's like the average. And then render it. F12 or render in the top left. You should get this. So what you're going to want to do is if you want to change the colour of your light, click on your light, click on colour and change the colour. F12 and bam, your cube's a different colour. Now, this is cool and all, but if you want to make a cool textured wallpaper or something, just move your cube out of the way. Just move it really high up. Uh, not your cube, your light even. And then click on here, just pan around a bit, click on here, and you'll see your camera here, it's looking at it straight on. So if you press zero on your number pad, you'll see this. So you want to fill in that entire area with cubes to make a cool textured background. So press zero, just so you can see it from the perspective, and then do shift D, and this will duplicate it. Move it, shift D. Move it, shift D, move it, shift D, move it, and just do this until you've made your background. Something you can do is select all of them and then do shift D. Oh, I've selected everything, everything. Just want to select the cubes, so make it so you've got nothing else. Click here if you don't think you're going to select all of them because this will make it see through up in the top left and just select all of them and you have all of them selected. Shift D, move it, Shift D, move it. And now if you look at it from the point of view of the camera by using zero on the number pad, you can see what you're doing and you can do it a lot better. Now this kind of looks a bit Confused, oh, I've duplicated the camera again. But here you go, this is all you really want. Fill in the rough edges. And you'll see you should have this sort of like diagonal wall of cubes. Um, I have copied the light a lot of times, so just click on the light, press the delete, 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 delete. Or alternative, you can press X and then click on it. I don't want to delete that light because this is going to be our main light. Move the light you moved back to where it was. And here you have your light in your background. And if you press F12, it will render the image as a cool background. And if you want more lights of different colours, click on the light, Shift D, you already know that. Move it over, change the colour to like red or something. And you've got two different colours as your background. I think this looks quite cool. Other people might not. But you can do a lot with this if you want different powers of light. So if you want this red one to be really weak. But have multiple different positions. So it kind of overtakes the image. Um, you can do that. So here you go, this is the final project, and it looks a bit better. Um, 
you can do kind of whatever you want with this. Um, and yeah, here's, in the next episode we'll be learning how to add in more fun shapes and how to make a cool looking scene. Goodbye.